Flooding route to St. John's Wellchild and Family Center. Well, Alicia, are you ready to go do this? Yes and no. Yes and no. Well, what is the yes and what is the no? It would be the more logical thing to do, I would say. Although COVID deaths are dropping down, people are still dying from it. You never know how it's gonna affect you. And then it's like you don't know who or what to believe necessarily because at the end of the day, it's just hearsay. So have you heard any crazy stories on social media about the COVID shot or why people say they might not do it or have done it? Um, there's already people that are thinking there's a strand of COVID within the vaccine or they feel like they're being experimented on. Like we get these shots and we just get washed like rats, like lab rats. There's a lot of people against it, especially ethnic people, black people, simply because we have been used as guinea pigs in certain experimental drugs. So yeah, I, everybody has a right to be skeptical. On, on the um, positive side, I took the vaccine. It was just about being proactive or trying to keep yourself safe. You know, with me having bronchitis, if I was to get it, it would probably make it a thousand times worse on my respiratory. So I don't need that. If anything, it's gonna kill me to be your mom. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, a little anxious. A little anxious? Yeah. Over 500,000 people have already died in the United States, millions worldwide, but no one's died from the coronavirus vaccines. The vaccine is basically giving your body information on how to fight coronavirus. So that when you feel that when you have side effects, you have the pain, you have fever, you have chills, that's just, your, that's just a normal response. Okay. Okay. I would say take it as a good sign if you if you're not feeling so well after. Okay, but it shouldn't last more than like one one day. So to those who are scared of getting the vaccine, I would tell them I'd be more scared of contracting coronavirus. The virus is a lot more unpredictable. But a lot of people end up having severe symptoms, having to go to the hospital, get intubated. I do understand that you know there's fear out there, there's mistrust. People have a right to decide what they want to put in their body, of course. But I think that people should read up as much as they can on it, talk to their doctor about what they're thinking about, what fears they may have, what concerns they have for side effects. There are very few reasons why a person would not be eligible for the coronavirus vaccine. I actually feel relieved. I know what to expect, basically, getting the shot. So it's better than not knowing. St. John's has been providing health care for over 50 years to residents of South LA. We were here before the pandemic started and we'll be here when the pandemic ends. If you're eligible to do so, I strongly encourage you to get vaccinated. It's safe, it's free, and it's effective. And it's the best way to protect our friends, our family, and our community.